and welcome. In this video tutorial we're going to talk about the alerts tab and how your tablet will be receiving calls from your dispatch center. Now when you first open Streetwise it's going to go to this uh, alert screen automatically so this is the default tab at the bottom that you'll open on. The calls received from your dispatch center uh, will appear prominently in the center part of the screen here. Uh, now the nature of the call will always be in a bold headline. Then you'll have the address or location of the call. There's a third line there that tells you the ID number of this call within the Streetwise system. Now that's our ID, the Streetwise ID. That's not necessarily your CAD ID number. Then you have uh, the date and time that the call was sent out to the tablets. Now the rest of the information that appears below, in this case you see like uh, a place name for Bettler Brewery, uh, cross streets, uh, details, notes from the dispatcher and uh, that they put in about the call, the dispatch time and the CAD ID number. But this will change from, uh, from client to client uh, because different dispatch centers send different information to the Streetwise system. Uh, so depending on what we receive from the dispatch center, uh, we can assemble that information and place it into the main alert screen here. So it may not look exactly like this example. Then if your dispatch center sends us specific units that are assigned for this particular call, those will appear in a line uh, at the very bottom of that alert. Now there's also a small index uh, across the very top of the alert screen and that index is slidable so I can just grab my finger and slide across so I can see the various alerts that I've got on the screen on the uh, device that have come into this device and by simply stopping on any one of those I'll then reorient the main screen to that alert. Now you'll also notice that some of the alerts in that um, in that sliding uh, index may have a star located above them and that's simply indicating that that's a call that you have not viewed yet. Uh, but as you can see if I slide over to that call and I view it for more than a few seconds or so that uh, star will go away. I want to show something else about the alert screen. Let's come down here to this commercial structure fire for a moment and let's read the information. You can see that the details are that it's a fire in the kitchen and the hood extinguisher did work um, and that was assigned to engine 2, engine 1, and tower 1. One of the other features of Streetwise though, and we're going to go in route to this particular call, one of the other features of Streetwise is that if the dispatch center sends us additional information about this call or an update to that call, uh, then we will push that out to the tablet as an update not a new alert but an update to the existing alert. Now not all CAD systems are designed to do this and depending on the interface that we have set up with your dispatch center you may or may not receive updates but if we get updates from the dispatch center we'll push them through to the tablet. You'll also receive a pop-up notification indicating that your dispatcher has updated the information about this call uh, and it's handy that that pop-up notification will appear even if you're over on the tactical map so you'll have some notification uh, to you that the dispatchers made some kind of an update. Now I'm going to send an update through to this call uh, uh, manually so I'm going to send the alert uh, update and you can see that very quickly we have a notice that the incident you're engaged in has been updated by dispatch. Now you see the extra information that the dispatchers added. In this case they've added the additional notes that the occupants are evacuating and four additional calls have been received. You can also see down here that uh, a, a large number of additional apparatus have been added to this call as well. Uh, now I can just tap here to dismiss that message and I'll be back on the main screen. Now there are a couple of other things related to the alert screen. Uh, if we come over here to the settings uh, uh, menu and we click on that you'll see that we can either delete the current call we're looking at or we can delete all the calls from the tablet. Now one of the additional features of this is that if you are actively engaged on a call it's not going to let you 
delete the call you're engaged in. That makes sense. If you're busy on that call, it doesn't want you to even accidentally delete the information from that call. So if we hit the delete all button, you're going to see that all the calls go away except this one that we are currently engaged on. Now we'll go ahead and take it into available status so we're no longer involved in that call. And now if we hit delete all, the screen will go back to uh, indicating no alerts. Another feature down there is that you have the ability to resend any recent calls. So if you send this command to the server, the server is going to resend the last four hours worth of incidents back to your tablet. We'll go ahead and show you that now. We'll hit the resend recent button and the last four hours of calls come back to the tablet just as if they were brand new. So that can be handy in the event that you did accidentally delete all the calls and you needed to get those calls back. It'll give you at least the last four hours worth. There are also buttons located on the left and right side. Those can be used to navigate your way through the alerts as well, just by tapping on those buttons. Or you can simply slide your finger across the main screen to move from one alert to the other.